I want to go over another document that I have written. It is called Random Thoughts About Selfishness. So let's skip all the way down to this paragraph. Today I have been thinking about selfishness, recalling things that I not only hear from people, but from our culture. No, it is not a sin to do whatever you like with your money and time, as long it doesn't pertain to something sinful. As long as you aren't breaking the rules and regulations of God, think about this. What is the point of buying or doing things that only benefit yourself? How does God get the glory out of this? Not only that, can you take your possessions to the next realm when you die? No. I like possessions as much as the next person. Why save up a bunch of money or purchase a lot of things, which will decay or not last long? You may be very happy to own a particular item. Having it for such a long time, you will lose interest. Why not help people do things that will spread the word and love of God to all? In truth, that will be the only thing that matter. If we are fortunate to go to heaven, we will have eternal rewards based upon what we have done for him. Define eternal, eternal, lasting or existing forever without end or beginning. We don't get any heavenly reward for buying or doing things for ourselves, maintaining our salvation. We do get credit for this. Myself personally, I see spreading the word of God and doing things for God as an investment. What do you mean, Kevin? Since I know possessing earthly things will not credit me anything in heaven, buying earthly things isn't wrong. My will is to spend my time, money, and effort into leading people to God. This world is temporary. Let me ask you a question. Let's say your home burns down. You would then have to move to a different house. You know that. You know that you will only be there for six months or so. After the six months, you will move to a permanent residence. Would you fully decorate your temporary home? Would you replace the furniture, landscape, or invest a lot of time, effort, or money? Excuse me, hold on. and to that temporary residence. Give me a second, please. Hold on. Okay, where was I? Okay, right here. I would say the majority would reply no. Okay, take this situation and match it with this temporary world we live in. We aren't going to live here forever. We aren't going to live here for long. Why not invest for your eternal future? While we are on this earth, let's help the poor, widows, elderly, churches, ministries, children with no parents, etc. These things will God acknowledge. Buying a beautiful Corvette, this will not gain you any, re any reward in the next realm. So Kevin, you are telling me that I can do things that will gain me eternal rewards. 
Yes, that is what I am saying. Even the small things count. We may think that we do tiny things for God, but if you are, but if you were to see the effect of our actions, we will see that the tiny things we do for God are actually huge. Remember, we are only instruments. God takes what we do for him and multiplies it. So just by sharing the word of God to a few co-workers, this will set off a chain reaction and get so many more others to come to Christ. Keep in mind though, you can't be a hypocrite. Someone who teaches about God but stays in sin without any thoughts or the will to change. You must know it is God that saves people. So if you are saved slash holy, you will have the Holy Spirit. So you are one with the Holy Spirit. So when you talk, it is God speaking. Kevin, how is God speaking when I have the Holy Spirit? Well, God the Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit works as one. So since you are one with the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> you are one with God as well. Once again, When you are speaking as a saved slash holy person, it is the same as God speaking. If you start to talk like a demon, then we all know that you don't have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will only reside in people that are saved slash holy. Just had to clear this up. It is nearly impossible for a non-saved slash non-holy person to lead an individual to God. Why? He slash she would be a huge hypocrite. How? How can you instruct someone to be holy when you aren't holy? How can you tell someone to stop doing something when you are doing it? Our lives are more of a ministry than our words. People hear our words, but they are watching every move we make. People are looking for authenticity. Authenticity. Once they find out, once they find out you are a fraud, you may have lost a soul. Let's look at the rich and famous and the people who has quite a bit of money. Are they truly happy? Are they at peace? <clears throat> Some are. The ones who has God in their life. Have you ever wondered why does the media only show mainly good things about the rich? Promoting selfishness never about helping people. They are trying to push an agenda upon us. Do you think money gives you security or happiness? We are selfish in things that God provides freely, yet we don't trust that God will provide. So we selfishly hold things back and cut off our blessings. Well, Kevin, I have been very broke slash poor in the past, Kevin. I have been used or abused in the past. I have to get payback, Kevin. Once again, you are trusting in yourself more than God. Don't we reap whatever we sow? Whatever we do or think, doesn't it come back to us? The answer is yes. We shouldn't be so touchy about money or helping people. I am not saying give all your money out 
to the point where you can't pay your basic bills. I'm not saying to give all your time to people where you are in misery or can't relax. I am saying think less about this corrupt world and think more of the spiritual things. Think about heaven and pleasing God. Don't we want to make him happy? We can easily make him happy. So, this is the end. I really hope you learned something. God bless.